Welcome to Black Sheep. We're on the south coast of Britain, which can be damp. So our first project is to build a big tent. tent pegs firmly in the ground, I need to make three long beams, two for the sills and one for the ridge. I decided to use scarf joints for these. A simpler joint would have been okay, but it wouldn't have been as strong or as pretty. The CAD model wasn't essential, but it did help to get the timber order right. Here's how we made the bows. First you put the inner length into the jig. Next you put in all the spacer blocks. Then you put the outer length into the jig, round all the spacer blocks. Finally, you screw in from both sides into each spacer block. Some of the lengths break when you bend them into the jig, but these can be used later in the construction, so waste is kept to a minimum. After we'd done the first couple, Hayden and I got it down, so we were making a bow every 15 minutes. These diagonal braces tie the whole tent together, so it's important that they're bolted to each bow, rather than just screwed. This is where you can use any of those lengths that broke while you were making the bows. The final jobs on the main structure were to fix the bows down to the sills and to reinforce the ridge.
I ordered this tarp 12 meters square to cover the tent without any joins. The problem was it weighed over a quarter of a ton. Pulling the tarp tight was a little frustrating as I'd ordered it without any eyes to tie onto. <coughs> Black Sheep took a trip to the other end of the yard to have her hull blasted. This was good timing as despite my fancy new cover, there was still a big puddle inside. I ordered 14 tons of hardcore to raise the floor by half a foot. We covered the tent before I'd figured out how we were going to build the ends. With the tarp in the way, getting these braces on was a bit of a fiddle. The central vertical goes onto the brace. The other verticals bolt directly onto the bows, but because the bows are quite thin, I decided to thicken up the top of these verticals to spread any loads. The front of the tent is held together just by a dozen or so bolts, so it can be dismantled and black sheep can be taken in and out as needed. Inevitably, after completely covering the tent, we found there was quite a lot of condensation. So we got some pipe and sewed it into the end of some tarp to make a vent at both ends. Another cause of condensation was the sub base getting soggy from surface water, so I revealed the DPC which was under it and folded it up to create a bathtub floor. Again, it would have been easier if I'd just done this to begin with. Now 
With these changes and some gullies dug down by the side of a tent, it was dry inside at last. The final job was to reclaim our view from the stern of Black Sheep. This will really help with ventilation when it does warm up. During Storm Dennis this February, we saw gusts of over 70 miles per hour, which the tent stood up to without any problem. You should keep your good friends. <laughs>